on YouTube and welcome to a new 3D art core tutorial. And this time we are going to learn um, about uh, a new feature in Maya 2014. Um, basically it's not a new feature, uh, but there is a new feature added to this uh, tool we are going to uh, learn. So um, let's uh, quickly begin with this. Um, for most of you who are already modeled in Maya more than once, uh, probably uh, familiar with the crease tool, okay? Uh, if not, um, I will explain. Uh, let's say, for instance, we have uh, a cube, okay? And um, one common um, tool I'm using in Maya is uh, the smooth mesh preview. So if I will press three on my keyboard, uh, this is where I turn this uh, smooth pre uh, smooth mesh preview mode, and it will uh, make my uh, cube here in the scene uh, to become smoother and look like a circle, like a sphere. Okay, so. Uh, basically, uh, when you do this to a uh, shape inside Maya, um, the only way to render this as a uh, sphere right now um, is to go over, um, choose the mental ray engine, and then you can render this out as sphere. Just for example, I will show you. You see, now when you press 1 on your keyboard, okay then it will bring this back to the to this uh, cube uh, kind of look this is where we snapped out of this smooth mesh preview mode uh, back to the normal mode okay now if i will uh, um, try to render the sm sm uh, this uh, mesh smooth preview mode uh, using the maya software okay then we will get to see this uh, sphere as a cube as is the normal shape that it's been okay now when you work with smash, uh, mesh smooth preview mode um, you basically have three options you have uh, the number one two and three the number one is the normal shape how it looks when you created it and number two is uh, some kind of a preview of how it it's going to look, okay, and from what uh, shape it becomes like this, okay, and finally number three, which uh, basically make this uh, to be appear like that, okay. So in number two, it's like mid midway option when you can see both of the uh, like the. Uh, how it's evolved into this uh, sphere okay now um, the sm the mesh smooth preview is uh, a very common tool to use okay uh, mostly when I am um, creating modeling uh, models or something like that I um, use this uh, a lot okay uh, I'm modeling in uh, you know this uh, polygon uh, meshes and someone I do need uh, some parts of my model to be smoothed and this is when I um, making this uh, smooth preview and basically because most of my renders I make them in mental ray this is why um, my uh, I don't I, I don't uh, care about using this okay so uh, I just I thought this uh, as an introduction for those who don't uh, familiar with the smooth preview but uh, there is something else I want to talk about okay when we smooth preview thing like that okay and make this uh, cube as a sphere okay it's actually relaying on our edges okay on their spot and you can manipulate them you can do anything you want uh, you can take this, this vertices points and manipulate them and do any other things you should and basically uh, reshape this shape while it's in uh, smooth preview mode okay um, it's more kind of a you know it looks like a lattice tool but it's not it's 
just the smooth mesh preview and this is how things work here okay and now if you let's say I wanna in this mode I wanna extrude those two faces okay I will extrude them once and you can see it becomes to look uh, something like that now let's say I want to uh, push those up extrude those and bring them that way okay and then grab those two faces here and I can extrude them and move them that way okay so um, I want to add like uh, two more um, edge loops in order to make here this area here a little bit more sharper okay so it will be sharp edge here and then the shape flow will look a little bit more sharp in this area so um, the usual step that you need to do is uh, basically go or hold on the shift right click insert edge loop and then add one edge loop here and then it will reshape this okay and make this corner to be a little bit more um, sharp and if I will add one more here just add to the sharpness here and you can see it's already looks a little bit different than this area here okay this area here looks a little bit different from this area here but um, for those who not doesn't know um, Maya provide also another kind of tool which named as the crystal this is what we came to learn about so um, the edge you can pick like this edge here okay which is the same kind of flow of the edge that we just added earlier okay I deleted th them um, <coughs> you can come over here and choose uh, hold on the shift right click and choose crystal okay now when you do this you need to when you choose this feature you need to uh, click on your wheel and then basically uh, click on your wheel and drag it from left to right okay so that way you can crease this uh, edge here and basically do the same okay you can come and grab these and basically you crease this uh, you know the the heaviness or the um, weight on this edges okay and then um, it's basically making you avoiding you uh, from creating another edges in order to maintain sharper edges here you can do this uh, for each edge you like even here at the top I will choose those four okay and I can hold on the shift right click choose crystal and do the same over here okay now this is the crystal and this is how you work with it uh, it's meant to uh, be used over a smooth mesh preview uh, and this is basically how it works but uh, in my 2014 um, basically what Autodesk Maya uh, did um, they were adding another uh, tool to this and I will show you in a second this tool um, you need to go over create sorry edit mesh uh, no no the let me see surfaces display Um, okay, that was polygons, asset, a little bit confused because I don't see this tool right now, okay, you go over edit mesh and preset editor, okay, and you open it, now, with this, uh, Chris, Chris set editor. Oh my god, I need to bring it back. Okay, um, what you need to do here is pick this. Uh, let's say I want to 
grab those two uh, set of uh, edges that I've been creasing, okay? Those two, okay? Just for this, um, what you do after you select them, you go over new, create new from those two, and then you can come over here and with your middle mouse, okay, uh, you can just whenever you want you come open this after you selected them and add them you can come here and basically move this okay um, move this sorry okay you see you click on here and basically drag from left uh, to right click on your wheel and drag from left to right and then you can uh, just manipulate it and define the uh, you know the crease weight or values here so um, you can basically choose whatever uh, lines you have been creasing and add them to this uh, same set okay or basically add them to a new set so we can uh, choose to crease those edges those two edges only let's say okay and hold on the shift right click crease tool okay um, oh sorry this one and this one shift right click crease middle mouse wheel to click and drag from left to right you see they've been creasing by the way you can see that those creased line are basically much more um, you know uh, thick than the other so uh, I will choose these set okay like this go over edit mesh crease set editor and add them to new layer Okay, you can add them to the same layer by, by clicking on this layer and add them. But you can create a new one, and basically you can same come and click on this middle mouse key, and you can see I'm middle mouse clicking and dragging from left to right, and it's uh, changing the weights for all of those creased edges the top and those two sides because I've added them you can also add those to the same as I told you you can pick those uh, not all of them just those two and go again to the preset editor and you can click on this uh, first layer choose add and control this from here okay let's see Okay, so this is the preset editor and the mesh smooth preview. Um, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, and I hope you, uh, you know, it's been a little bit help helpful for you. And see you soon with a new tutorial about what any whatever it's going to be. And have a good day, people. Bye.